All right, Oval fans, hope everybody's doing well because guess what? We're about to get an even bigger taste of Ruthless in an upcoming episode of the back half of season two based on the promotional photos for the upcoming episode starting next week on the 20th. So make sure you take a moment to hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification icon to select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel and follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Now, Barry is going to be brought to the compound as we all expected after the Rakadushi whoop his ass and throw him into the back of the van. But the question is, what is he doing there? I mean, you would think that they would just kill him and that would be that due to the fact that it will be a lot easier to get rid of the person who is putting the Rakadushi on blast for his missing daughter. But then at the same time, it's like, you know, since this has happened to Barry, is it going to lead to something even bigger happening to the Rakadushi? It's like, you know, he knows where they are. I mean, yeah, he was blindfolded and everything. But remember, when is Sam and the Secret Service going to rain down on the Rakadushi? I mean, the question is, when you think about it from a weird perspective, the Ruthless series could, technically speaking, end within the Oval. Like, we could see the end of the Rakadushi and whatnot in the uh, Oval series. And then we can actually pick up in the Ruthless series and kind of, you know, okay, the Ruthless series will catch up to where the Oval is and then be over. It's like, let's say in the Oval Season 3, the Rakadushi are arrested and disbanded. And then pretty much whatever happens in Ruthless is leading up to that. It's really weird because is he going to get to see Callie? Now, remember, there's a point in um, the Ruthless series where the kids are supposed to be sent to what was it, Mexico to be mules with the drugs and whatnot? Is this going to be after that? I mean, are the kids even there? That's what I'm saying. Like, we don't know how long this Mexico trip's going to last. Even though Lilo was killed, the cartel still wants their money, meaning that, you know, the drugs will have to be sold in one way, shape, or form. So I'm wondering if Barry gets to see Callie. I mean, they already have the money so what use is barry i mean couldn't they have just killed him on the way there are they bringing him there to be a sacrifice just to like say hey for anybody who's trying to escape or think they can get help from the outside this is an example of what we do to those who think they could bring down a rakadushi <laughs> he's head cut off i don't know i just feel like i would love to see that barry and daikon fight that uh um quote unquote Ruby Callie was threatening Daikon with in episode one. I just feel like Barry, we know Barry is not going to go down without a fight, but you know, imagine if he gets to meet the highest, that would be insane. I just feel like there's so much that there's so much potential that we can actually have untapped once we see the compound. Now, just because certain characters don't show up doesn't mean that, oh, well, uh, Lacey doesn't show up. That must mean she gets killed on Ruthless in season two. Not necessarily because we still don't know the exact time. Look, as somebody who just finished the Loki finale timelines and crap, ugh, we don't know the exact time frame of where the Oval is versus Ruthless. We just know that the Oval is ahead of where Ruthless is now in terms of what we're watching. So, with that being said, I wonder if Barry being at the compound means that somebody's going to come for him. You know, like, Nancy's going to be like, Richard, Barry went to go meet with those Rakadushis and he hasn't come back home. What happened to him? And then hopefully Sam finally takes the information Dale gave him and then they go try to, you know, recover uh, Barry. I mean, hell, who's to say Bobby and Max won't go there because their cabin got blown up. You just never know where they'll find a refuge or, you know, some form of resources because we know the Rakadushi got drugs and weapons. Just saying. So, with that being said, thanks so much for tuning in. And also, keep in mind that, you know, Bobby gave the Rakadushi members some food. So, maybe they'll be like, hey, they're the ones who gave us food. Let's help them out. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, uh, thanks so much for tuning in. I really can't wait to see what's going to happen next. And, um, you know, well, yeah, this is very interesting because I can't wait to see what's going to happen. I really hope the highest is in these episodes. Maybe Elder Mother flirts with uh, Barry. <laughs> No, seriously, she probably would do that. All right, guys, if you want to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App. And with that being said, I'll catch you all in the next video.